So Alex, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation in terms of uh, creating a uh, personal brand. So we talked about that people can share articles or can share their thoughts. So do you think that that's the best way to create content or there are other ways? If you are a good writer, you can also write. So what are your thoughts in terms of creating content? Yeah, creating content. I mean, that's... um. It, it can be it could be personal it could be you know work related uh industry based uh, mm -hmm. um uh just it could be even um you know if it's a response to like whatever whatever is top of mind to you i mean i i i can say for myself i i started with you know travel blogging and then you know with some personal stuff with um and with with my dad uh, my dad mm -hmm. and my family and that that was a, it was an outlet to do that mm -hmm. And at the time, you're just getting your thoughts out there, but you realize, okay, hey, this is actually building out your personal brand. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you look on LinkedIn right now, there's a lot of individuals who are who taking those risks. They're sharing more of their personal side, which yes, honestly, it's been you know, industry wide, it's kind of been frowned upon before. Uh, by who? I have no idea. But um, yeah. I like the approach that I think the industry has gotten to, uh, and mm -hmm. then just the space on LinkedIn. But um, you could start there with that. But I mean, it could be. It could be a simple, you know, in terms of creating content or, you know, for, for that platform, if we're sticking there, yeah, it could just be, okay, hey, if you want to record some tips, do that, you know, quick, short video. Yes. Uh, could be like a one, you know, th you know three to four sentence uh, uh, social update or you're yeah. providing something of value. Um, then it could be, you know, if you want to take advantage of like the article feature that they have on LinkedIn. Yeah. Um. And just you know, really putting pen to paper virtually to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. I tell my clients to start small. Maybe every Monday at ten o'clock, make ten comments on people. On Tuesday, maybe share your thoughts about other people's content. Maybe Wednesday take off, and then Thursday, as you, we mentioned previously, if you can go on Google, top tips in engineering or top trends in I don't know uh, customer service. There will be a lot of articles. You can write and summarize. This is my summary. This is my thoughts, hashtags, and then maybe uh, tag some people that you feel that it will engage engagement. Do you think those are good ways to start? Yeah, I think those are pretty good tips. I mean, I think everyone thinks that they have to, that if you simply, if you post, people will magically yeah. connect with you and that's going to happen. Uh, but you know, platforms such as LinkedIn, that's, that's the whole name of it. LinkedIn, you know, link in with each other. You want to yeah. connect. Um, and I think it's very underrated the, uh, the need to actually, you know, comment, mm -hmm. comment on what people are sharing. You know, if there's, it doesn't matter if it's someone who has a million followers or they have 500, Yeah. if there's something of value, you comment and because yeah. you're LinkedIn, yeah. you will then connect with someone's first degree connection, second, third degree. Yeah. Uh, get that conversation going, and honestly, when people see that, okay, you, you have an idea of what you're talking about, right? You're you're going to be, and if that's that depends too, if that's what you want to be known for with your personal brand, right? There are people who take completely different approaches, but I think that, and then um, you know, sharing industry tips. So you know, if you're a recruiter, hey, yeah. the top five ways to know the interview. If you're an engineer, you know, six uh, you know six methodologies that will help you succeed. Yeah. Sharing a lot of that, right? If yeah. you share that and provide the the insight that's gonna, you know, make a difference for like, let's say if you and I are both engineers and we see that we're like, oh man, you know, so and so really knows what they, yeah. you know, they're talking about. They're talking about yeah. That's gonna capture your attention yeah. versus someone who just has a a very outlandish post yeah. that has nothing to do with that, right? That's you're probably gonna want to disconnect from that yeah. person. And there's a lot of uh, LinkedIn groups that you can join, share ideas and put comment and that's as you mentioned it's LinkedIn is the best way to connect and build relationships, right? Um it's it's so it's a good spot, right? I think the groups is uh the, the groups is something that LinkedIn has yet to uh to master. They they've yeah. had like yeah they've had groups before gosh before Slack and Discord really took off. But I think it was more of an afterthought for them and now they've come back to it. Yeah. But uh there's there's a lot of good groups actually on Discord and, and Slack. Yeah. that are that are free and then you know other other platforms as well where okay you you can engage with them so i wouldn't just limit that to linkedin yeah those are great tips thank you alex so again for the audience watching if you have any other tips in terms of content creation you can leave them below and tune in next time for, for another great question with alex